Hello everyone, this is CEO 100 Able. Have you ever wondered how I keep the icons for my software programs and PC games organized on my Windows 10 home desktop PC? Well, now is your chance to find out. First of all, I have icons for those internet browsers Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Firefox organized right here for easy access. Same with other software programs like Windows Media Player, which is something I use for playing audio files as well as video files, etc. There's also Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13.0 64-bit, which is the video editing software program I mainly use for editing the videos on this computer. Sometimes I use Windows Live Movie Maker as well. And there are several others like Microsoft Paint, a default image editing program on Windows 10, Audacity, an audio file editing program, SoundForge Audio Studio, another piece of Sony software which can be used for editing audio files as well, but has more features than Audacity and Microsoft Word 2010 is right here, which is one of my favorite word processing software programs. I also have Steam, the Steam client software for Steam PC games, and the Discord software program, and the application for Wild Tangent Games digital ones and MASH, Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper, a piece of software for displaying Microsoft Agent characters on modern Windows operating systems, as well as classic ones, and there are some miscellaneous tools, like GeForce Experience, the Vidia. Now let's look inside this custom folder I created in late February 2020 named Software Programs and PC Games. This is where I store all those icons for my PC games, as well as the rest of my software programs for various tasks. I have these sorted out by date, as you can see. Why don't I have those sorted in alphabetical order? Yup, looks pretty good. Excellent, isn't it? So, if you ever want to avoid having your desktop screen so cluttered, I would recommend creating a folder named like this, Software Programs and PC Games, and inserting icons for most of your software programs and PC games into a folder like this. Alright, so, that's pretty much it. That's it for now. I hope you all enjoyed this tour video, so goodbye everybody, and that's about it.